Welcome to Yes Botany. Today we are going to see morphology of the angiosperm. In that first topic of discussion is the basic body plan of the flowering plant. This video is helpful for the BSc botany. So let us proceed. The basic body plan of the flowering plant. For that we should know what are the flowering plant. Flowering plants are the angiosperms. Angiosperms are the plants that produce flowers and bear their seeds in fruits. And how can we differentiate the plant body? Plant body is divided into two parts, root system and the shoot system. Root system is the underground part of the plant and the shoot system is the aerial part of the plant. Roots with their branches is collectively called as the root system. And functions associated with the root system are the anchoring of the plant to the soil, absorption of the water and the nutrients from the soil, conduction of the absorbed water and nutrients to the stem, storage of the food nutrients from the soil, vegetative reproduction and competition with the other plants. Shoot system. The shoot system includes organs such as the leaves, buds, stem, flowers and fruits. Shoot system is usually present above the ground surface and the important functions performed by the shoot systems are photosynthesis, reproduction, storage, transport and the hormone production. In this we will see one important point that is the modular type of the growth. This is more clear to you by this flowchart. How the module is formed? The first is the cell. Cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. The cell, it forms a group and this group is called as the tissue. And there are different types of the tissue in the plant body. Among that, one type is the meristem. Meristem is a special type of the tissue which has the capacity to divide continuously and give rise to the other different types of the tissues. This meristem will divide and gives rise to the metamer and metamer will ultimately differentiate into the module. The modules are the important plant growth because have the meristems needed to grow and produce the daughter units. Meristem produce modules which in turn construct the architectural model. Metamers derive directly from the meristem activity and are externally recognizable as a retreated subunit of the module. These points will be more clear to you by the next slide. Here we have the metamor and a module. We know that the shoot apex and the root apex it has a special type of the meristem that is the shoot apical meristem associated with the shoot and the root apical meristem associated with the root. The shoot apical meristem it gives rise to the different parts of the shoot system. In this our point of discussion is the metamer. Metamer it has a node, leaf and a bud associated with the leaf and a internodal region and this whole part it is a metamer. And Many such metamer will ultimately form a module. Here in this area, we have many such metamers forming a module. Here we have just seen the metamer which includes the leaf associated bud, node, and the internodal region, and this repetitively forms the module. So, repetitive expression of the growth components. It is the modular growth. The metamer it is formed by fundamental unit of the shoots construction. It includes internode, node, leaf and the associated bud and the module. It is the leaf axis in which the entire sequence of the differentiation is carried out. So we have seen the basic body plan of the flowering plant in that what are the angiosperms and how we can differentiate the plant body in the root system and the shoot system. 
and we have seen the modular type of the growth and how the module is formed by the activity of the metamer and metamer it is formed by the meristem so that's it for the today's video please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you